I always like trying new things on the channel and this one I think is as wild and crazy as you get. This is the Illusion of Safety. It's an Imperial Pastry Stout. You don't get many of them stouts on this channel, but what's it going to be tasting like? Keep on watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to White Dog Brewery. They are based in Holland uh, and this is their The Illusion of Safety. It's an Imperial Pastry Stout. Yep, so you heard that right. I am about to drink and review a stout on the channel. I'm not a big fan of stouts. I don't review many, but the thing about this one, it just sort of caught my eye because it's the flavors i mean it says hops and adjuncts here it says american cheesecake vanilla chocolate lactose cream cheese it's actually got real cheese in this beer cheesy beer sounds disgusting but maybe maybe when it's mixed with chocolate it's going to be like a cheesecake liquidized in a in a in a, in a beer let's crack it open and see what it's like 10.5 percent. i need to take my glasses off for this quite sure what I'm going to make of this. Is it going to be too sweet? Oh, first, it's very explosive. I just had a, a little sip of that off camera before the explosion. I've had this in my fridge a while. Let's see how it pours it. I'm going to pour quite thick, very oily. Maybe a little bit too heavy on the pour yep because i look at that ridiculous we've got four fingers of well i mean there's tan that is literally like coffee colored uh head we've got a jet black beer it is very black quite a frothy sort of but fairly compacted i think that's that's gonna stick around a little bit so looks like a stout so far that head is very very well, it's coffee coloured, isn't it? Let's see what the aroma's like. Yeah, I'm getting the chocolate, but there's also those dark malts. It's very stouty. Yeah. Chocolate. I'm not picking up any of the cheese bit, which I'm a little bit disappointed to, but then the smelling cheese in a beer may, may put you off as well. Lots of chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate slight tint of vanilla but it's very much on the sort of dark side i think Let's see what it tastes like cheers everyone wow oh it's quite sweet as you'd expect from a chocolatey cheesecake vanilla -y sort of thing in fact it's very sweet it's smooth it's got a creaminess to it there is a sort of a little bit of, of of carbonation that you can feel as you're drinking it it's not like completely still there's a little bit of fizz in there it's boozy though as well you can you get that warmth and that hit of booze straight away there's no it's not disguised at all it, you know it's a boozy it's a decadent sort of drink flavors why I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed it's very sweet it's very chocolatey It's almost too sweet, I think. It's almost as if it's got um, it's got sugar in it. It's that sweet, really sweet. But then that does sort of hide some of the sort of dark malt side of it. It's not as there's not as much bitterness as you would you know you would expect a bit more bitterness in a stout, even a pastry stout. But there's not much bitterness. But it's a lot of sweet sugarness, sugary stuff in there. Can't really pick out the cheesy bit. I feel that it's like a very sweet chocolatey stout and it's one of those sort of beers that you only need a couple of mouthfuls and you think yeah i've had my hit of that that's sweet enough very um very creamy but sweet the sweetness is a little bit it's very sort of almost like saccharine sweet it clings to your mouth you know the sweetness and it just it stops you really get, getting any of the other flavours, whether that's the 
the chocolate. It's sweet, dark, there's milk chocolate in there. I'm not really picking up much vanilla because of that sugarness, that sugary flavour that's really sort of taking over the whole flavour of this beer. And in terms of the cheese, I was disappointed. I wanted to get a bit of cream cheese flavour, but I can't really pick that up. I'm not even picking up huge amounts of vanilla, really, with this beer. I think it's just, I don't, I mean, it doesn't, I don't think any of the junks are, it's got sugar in it. I'm going to put it down here, um, put my glasses on, have a proper read of the can. I don't think, I mean, obviously it's got lactose in it. Ingredients, water, barley, malt, hops, yeast. And that's it, really. Um, you know, and then obviously the adjuncts, it's got American cheesecake, vanilla, chocolate, lactose, which is the cream cheese. But yeah, it's too sugary. It really is sugary. It's almost like it's got this element of, I suppose, a little bit of, of, of a coffee, of like a coffee flavour in there, in there. And it's almost as if you've had a coffee and you've put, I mean, I don't know. I don't have sugar in coffee. I don't have sugar in tea. I don't have sugar in anything like that. Um, but I do like sweet things. But when I find it, if you ever have a coffee or a tea with a, even one sugar in it, it's undrinkable for me. It's just too sweet. And this is what this is like. Someone has dropped a couple of sh sugar cubes in this. It's it's sweet almost to the point where you feel your teeth are falling out. Yeah, it's it's not the sort of drink that I would like. It is a little bit boozy. It's 10.5%. You'd expect that. I thought that this one might be... Because I thought if it's a bit sweeter and not bitter, I'd like it. But it's just... It's gone. It's not unbalanced. It's gone too far the other way. I'm a little bit disappointed. I don't even think I'm going to finish it because it's that sweet. It's not a great flavour. But White Dog, the illusion of safety. Imperial, 10.5%. Yeah, Imperial Stout. Not a massive fan. I don't know if there's many people that like stouts that would like this because I think they'd find it too sweet as well. It's just sugary. It's it's a sugary flavoured beer and, you know, I don't think it's that great. But let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for white dog and it's uh the illusion of safety i mean it almost looks like the chocolate has poured out of here that in the can art as a little bit anyway but um yeah i mean it's a it's a it's an interesting concept but for me it's just too darn sweet um let's get the score starting with aroma appearance flavor value for money and yeah, this one was, it wasn't cheap, probably about seven quid. I mean, it's 10.5%, you would expect to pay more, but expensive for a very, not what I'd call a great beer. And finally, my overall experience. Well, the scores don't lie. This is unfortunately a Bon Jovi of beer. It's in the 60s, total score. Yeah, I mean, I know it's not my style, but it's more what I thought I would like, the sweetness, the creaminess, but I'm not getting a much, I'm not getting the creaminess to sort of alienate some of that overly sweet saccharine flavour. It's very, very sugary in its flavour and it just cuts through anything else in the beer, which is a little bit disappointing. So, unfortunately, it's only the Bon Jovi of beers and unfortunately, it's not going to make me want to rush out and go and buy any more Imperial Stouts because... Yeah, I'm not a massive fan. I'm just not a massive fan, especially, I mean, even the sweeter ones, the, the ones with all the adjuncts in, you think, oh, they might a chocolatey bit. I like chocolate. Why wouldn't I like them? But no, this is too much. So let me know if you've had this one. It has rated quite well on Untapped, actually. So I'm surprised that I'm finding it just not very nice at all. But let me know in the comments what you think, if you've had it. And I hope you've enjoyed this one. As I say, it's a very sort of, uh, we don't do many stouts on the channel and that probably isn't, as we move into spring and summer, that ain't going to change really. I should have really reviewed this one more around about Christmas time. But yeah, occasional stout just to keep some of those people happy that like stouts. Hope you enjoyed that, you stout lovers out there. But I still think it's one that if you like stouts, you won't like it. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. 
as I say, we do lots of beer videos, not really many stout ones, I will admit that, um, but you never know, there might be something that will catch my eye and I will drink one in the end. So you've got to keep subscribing for when that stout review comes out. And until the next video, you know what you do, drink good craft beer and keep on rocking.